All right, guys, so we're finally back at Andy's place. It means it is going to be fun. And also, I get aerodynamic haircut. It means it's going to be very fast. This video is not gonna be very educational, but we got some batteries to test. This is R-Line V5 versus R-Line V4. The same capacity, and we're gonna see how it holds. And we got this uh, beautiful open racer with a uh, black box set to RPM telemetry and I'm gonna do just like a full throttle circle around the field and that's our testing methodology for today. But before we start I need to find my battery expert. Where's my battery expert? Alright, so I gotta call him. We got here the new 5.0 and the 4.0. 4.0 130C. It's like a little... Mm, it's like a little sizzle, right? A little... A little tingle there. That's 130C. But oh, 150C. V5.0. It's like. Whew. It's like. Whew. It's got a little pop to it. Look. Hey! Oh, whoa. Yeesh. Oh. Hee ha! I tricked you! <laughs> Unfortunately, we have only one V5 battery to test, so it's a little bit less science than it could be. Come on, tattoo. Tattoo. Science. But Mr. Johnny Five got zero batteries. Yeah, Come on, Tattoo. Like oh, zero batteries. Yeah. Where are they at? Come on. He got nine thousand subscribers right here. Famous YouTube star with zero V5 batteries. Come on. Yeah. Nine five without any number five. All I have is number four. All right. So, let's go. It just like vibrates. It was like. <laughs> well, damn it. Do not launch from here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so full throttle circles like that until it says land now. Of course circles are not identical from battery to battery but it is going fast and it is fun. Damn, it holds pretty good. This is V4. And this is an old V4. Alright, so and leaving. Slowing down. Battery sagging. Alright, land now. Checking the battery temperature. Ooh, that's hot. Ooh, yeah, that's hot. That's hard to hold. Well, it's very hot for V4 and V5, so... This is uh, Joe Mama, professional HD0 pilot. He got all his patches on him. And they are pointed in the house. <laughs> like, there's a track right there. And all these patches, look at that. So, our line V5 battery is the first battery with some special magic inside. What do you think about that? Uh, it's the first one with artificial intelligence. Does it say AI or AL? Oh, I guess maybe aluminum makes more sense. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as fancy though. V6 yeah. is gonna have artificial intelligence. Damn, these are very hot. Very hot batteries. Three real abusive cycles are done. Let's see the internal resistance. This is a V5. The minimum is 1.7, the maximum is 4.0. And this is V4. Minimum is 2.2, .2, maximum is 4.9. Uh, that's that's kind of close. Second V4, and you can see it goes from zero, like that's weird, from zero to four zero. V5 1200, this goes from 4.8 all of them, like. I think this charger is a little bit weird, I don't know. Maybe that's true. We probably just don't have enough batteries and don't have enough cycles to see the difference. That was only three cycles. But so far this is good. I think this is good. That was some real battery abusing. None of them are puffed. Good job Tattoo for both V4 and V5. Alright, so I'm back home. Let's see the results. First let's put the batteries on scales. So this is uh, V4, 225 grams. And this is V5, 222 grams, so V5 is uh, 3 grams lighter. It is a little bit surprising because V5 looks like a little bit bigger. And 1200 milliamps, 196 grams. So we got 12 flights, all full throttle until the battery is dead. Converted to CSV format and uh, let's plot them all using my old Python script. 
Python, Python script, Python script. So here's the script and uh, here are the results. And you can see they are quite noisy and uh, really hard to understand what's happening. So I had to smooth it a lot with the moving average. Yeah, and this is way better. This is first flight for every pack. You can see I have one V5 battery, which is red, and three V4 batteries, which are blue. The top plot is um, RPM. This axis is time, this axis is RPM. And the bottom plot is voltage over time. Looking at RPM plots, it's really hard to tell like which is faster or slower, even if you zoom in, they're all kind of like, you know, all together. At the very end, you can see when I had to cut throttle, when it says land now. And of course, my reaction time is not perfect, it could be like plus minus couple of seconds. And here, you see, I probably landed on V5 a little bit too late, because the voltage goes below 3.0 and it probably hurt battery for um, for later for later testing yeah so, so that was kind of mistake but on these plots it's very noticeable that v5 is a little bit outperforming all of the v4s i don't know maybe i had a lucky battery or maybe that's something let's zoom it in so somewhere in the middle the difference here, so this voltage is uh, 3.535 and this voltage is 3.491 and this is 1.2% uh, difference. Well, that's something, right? 1.2% difference. Is it a lot? I don't know, but V5 outperformed all of the brand new V4s. Yeah, just like that a little bit and you can see while doing basically the same amount of job because RPM is pretty much identical. Flight number two for all of the packs. You can see I am um, a little bit over abused V5. Cut throttle a little bit too late most probably and the voltage drops below 3.0 again but you can see during the whole flight V5 outperformed all of the V4s and for some reason here you can even see that the RPM is higher, like that's that's quite impressive all of it. A reminder that I am discharging these batteries in less than a minute with full throttle. Also I am charging them at 5.0 amps while they are still hot, like this is literally not safe. So I wouldn't recommend, you know, repeating that. Well, but we are doing it outside and we got multiple fire extinguishers on the spot. And you can see actually I'm, for whatever reason I am over abusing V5 like first and second flight. This is not intentional but well this is how it goes. And during flight number three for all the batteries you can still see that V5 holds voltage a little bit better than V4. The RPM at the beginning for V5 is a little bit higher and then it goes a little bit lower. I don't know how to explain that but it's just a little bit. Okay, at least at third flight I did not over abuse V5 battery. This is the first flight for all the batteries, all brand new batteries. We have already checked it out, the first flight. But here I just added V5 1200 milliamps. And uh, you can see it holds voltage a little bit worse, well, but that's expected, it's just less capacity. Let's check the pricing really quick. So this is uh, genstatu.com. V5 battery 6S 1400 milliamps 150C and this is 39.99. This is quite pricey, but I guess that's what you gotta pay for the high quality battery. And let's see, this is V4 6S 1400 milliamps 130C and this is more expensive. So let's double check. Yeah, everything seems to be right. It's just V4 is a little bit more expensive than V5. Hmm? See you in the next video, if I'm not lazy.
yeah. Make all the demons quiet, yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah. I think that we've all had enough. What keeps you up at night, yeah. Make all the demons quiet, yeah. We